Hi everyone, is an old unibody MacBook Pro still worth using today? Let's find out in this video. So if we go to about this Mac, you can see I have Mac OS Catalina here and this computer doesn't officially support it, but I updated it with a patcher and so there are some things that, you know, kind of require workarounds such as, you know, getting Zoom to work and stuff. And so you will need to do the appropriate patches for that, but this will make for a much better experience, not in performance, but just you know in app support and things like that especially you know in the coming years but we have 2.66 gigahertz intel core 2 duo right here this is actually an upgraded cpu however it doesn't really make a difference for the most part and so we can see our information right here and so we can go to storage and we can see my storage right here and so this is the specs of this computer. So I just wanted to give you a glimpse of the performance on this computer. So let's test out some things. First thing I want to do is go to Safari and test out some video playback and other things like that. So I didn't cut that out, that is the loading time for Safari. I have Chrome open here as well, but I'm going to close that. I recommend using Safari on this older MacBook because it has less RAM usage and it's just faster in general. So let's head over to my channel right here and let's test out some video playback. So if we go to videos right here, and if we go to a recent video, if we take it full screen here and up the resolution, and of course there's no point in going really, you know, that high on the resolution because the display is low resolution, but just because I want to up it. And it plays nice and smoothly at this higher resolution. So video playback should be just fine. If you have the resolution set high, the fans might crank on, but it's not dropping any frames here, which is nice. Let's go over to my blog right here. And that seems to load pretty quickly. If we go over to the blog section, that loads nice and quick as well. So it's not like a newer Mac, but it's pretty fast, really. If you consider the age of this computer, I mean, back when this was released, using a computer this old, that, that wasn't possible. But now, even though it may not be the best experience, it's still pretty good. So let's head over to apple.com right here and see how long this takes to load up. So day-to-day, -day, you know, web browsing and stuff like that, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's head over to Word and just see how that performs. So if we go right here and launch Word, and I'm not going to trim out the launch time right here. That loaded up there. And you know, it may not open apps the fastest, and it may not be the fastest in general, but for normal use, it's actually pretty good. However, if you get into video editing, you know, it may not be terrible experience when you're editing it, depending on your setup, but the render times are going to be very, very long. And I'm going to edit this video on this computer, but I will put the render time down in the description because I, I assume that it's going to be fairly long. Anyway, so that is it for the performance segment of this video. So even though this computer may be quite old, it doesn't look that way. It looks very nice and it is a little bit thick, but other than that, it looks, you know, pretty much like 
the newer MacBook Pros. And we also have a wide selection of ports with our MagSafe One charging port, our Ethernet port, FireWire 800 mini display port, two USB 2.0 ports, an SD card slot, and a headphone jack. Much more than you would get on any new computer. We also have that optical drive in case you ever need that, although you can switch it out for an SSD or hard drive. And you also have the little battery indicator on the side. Now we have the glowing Apple logo up at the top. And we have, you know, this unibody enclosure for everything. And we also have a very nice keyboard and trackpad. And there is a glass trackpad on this and it feels so nice. Even if it is older, it feels a lot nicer than any other cheap laptop. And it also has the actual clicking. And you know the force touch, I've never used one of those, but sounds like a good idea if you use it a lot and you know, may get worn out. But this has the actual button in the trackpad. And so you have the backlit keyboard. The keyboard is pretty nice and it's not like the newer ones, but it still is pretty nice. The display is not as good as the newer ones, but it's better than you'd find on any cheap, you know, Windows laptop or whatever. So even though it's nothing compared to the newer ones, I think it's still pretty good. It has, you know, pretty deep blacks, pretty good coloring, and the resolution, you know, isn't the best, but it's not, it's not as bad as you might expect, you know, when I say the display is not very good. So what is our conclusion here? Well, what I would say is that this computer may be great for some people, you know, if you're just doing day-to-day -day tasks and nothing like video editing or anything like that. And you know, you just want a cheap computer. These can be found very cheaply. However, you will want to upgrade the storage to an SSD and maybe put a gigabyte of RAM if you are going to use many apps at once. But if you are comfortable doing that kind of thing, then this computer may be great for some people. I use it daily and it does the job. I do use an M1 Mac Mini for my video editing and stuff normally, but I'm going to edit this video on this computer just you know so you can see that it is possible to do that i'm going to be using an older version of imovie since the latest version requires metal graphics which this doesn't support but yeah that's that's basically my conclusion is that this may be a good computer for some people and it's still you know a pretty good computer if you want to spend a little more, you can go, you know, year to newer and get the i5 or i7 CPUs. That may be worth it to do that. Anyway, that's about it for this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.